Bonjour à tous, ici Ben Garneau qui vous présente la nouvelle vidéo Le chaos climatique 2018. Il s'agit d'une vidéo mise en ligne le 2 août 2018 par Skywatch Media News. Alors sans tarder, voici la vidéo. Hi everyone, this is Steve for the Skywatch Media News Channel, and here's what's happening for the first week of August 2018. The effects of the deepening solar minimum is intensifying and causing serious concerns for planet Earth. Our sun has gone blank and has been void of sunspots for more than a month in what is being referred to as the most devastating solar cycle in living memory. The results of a fading sun brings with it an intense bombardment of cosmic rays and long-lasting holes in the sun's atmosphere, including the appearance of unusual and bizarre auroras that are striking the Earth's magnetic shield. The sun has been spotless for 120 days so far this year, which accounts for nearly 60% of solar activity at this point. The last time that the sun's output of sunspots was this low was in the year 2009, when the sun experienced its deepest solar minimum in the past century. So the lack of significant solar activity is having a profound effect on our planet. With the decline of the sunspot cycle, cosmic radiation is infiltrating the Earth and is spreading like wildfire coast to coast across the United States. The measurement of stratospheric radiation taken by high-altitude balloons over California is quite revealing. The results of the measurements indicates that radiation levels have increased by 18% in monthly averages since March of 2015. This comes as sunspot counts have dipped to a 10-year low in June and July of this year. Cosmic rays are approaching the Earth from all directions across the galaxy. When they strike the Earth, they produce intense photons measured in the Earth's stratosphere. With the influx of rays, the Earth's magnetic field is weakening, allowing harmful rays to penetrate across the solar system, including the Earth's atmosphere, eventually affecting the Earth's surface. The increase in stratospheric radiation is widespread, as evident by multiple measurements across state borders, showing an upward trend in radiation levels coast to coast. In addition to adverse climate and weather anomalies, the influx of radiation particles has elevated the risk of cancer, especially among flight crews and passengers who frequent the skies on a regular basis. Therefore, as solar activity declines or goes dormant, the levels of radiation increase, posing more serious problems for human health and the well-being of the planet. For years, the Earth has been hit by intense cosmic rays emanating from sources further from the Sun, which astronomers had been unable to identify. That was until NASA acknowledged that the source of the incoming rays was a binary star system that they said is 10,000 light years from Earth. Our planet's magnetosphere has been helpful in protecting us from most radiation, but this may no longer be the case, as radiation continues to increase steadily in the past few years. And if this trend continues, we may soon discover the limits of our atmosphere in horrendous ways. A leading Japanese scientist recently said that an increase in cosmic rays would also increase the cloud cover on the Earth, which would then cool the planet. If the science is valid, then the Earth would be subjected to many cold and dark days. But it seems that the source which would be external in origin, may not justify the results that were anticipated by the science, since the Earth is setting an all-time heat wave record.
which I will explain in more detail in just a moment. The consensus tells us that the sun moderates the flow of cosmic rays that can strike the Earth. When solar activity weakens, cosmic rays more easily strike the Earth and cause the Earth to cool. Whereas when solar activity is strengthened, then these rays are kept at bay and the Earth heats up. If the science is precise, then it is fair to say that cosmic rays are increasingly striking the Earth and therefore the Earth is cooling. But that is not what is presently happening. Is the fading sun actually moderating the flow of cosmic radiation? If there is an external source described as a binary star system that has weakened the sun's control of the flow of cosmic radiation, then this could accurately describe the extreme fluctu fluctuation of global temperatures. It appears that present-day science is out of sync with the reality of conditions on Earth. Earth is in the grips of a tremendous temperature surge which is presently heating up the world. July has seen heat records across continents, creating a dramatic shift this summer in both the northern and the southern hemispheres. According to the NOAA, historical heat records are being set worldwide. In northern Europe, the heat is unprecedented. Sweden is experiencing its hottest July in 260 years, with more than 50 wildfires raging across the country. All-time records are being set in Norway and in Finland, which experienced its hottest day in more than 100 years, while Northern Ireland and Wales had their hottest June temperatures on record. In the African country of Algeria, the temperature reached 124 degrees Fahrenheit on July 5th marking an all-time historical record not only for the country of Algeria, but for the entire African continent. In the Far East, Japan felt its highest temperatures in recorded history, reaching 106 degrees in the city of Kumegaya. The heat is being called a natural disaster, resulting in 22,000 cases of heat stroke and exhaustion. Temperatures on the Korean Peninsula are also breaking all-time records as the heat is expected to continue through much of August in these regions. In North America, the heat has affected much of Canada, where temperatures approached 100 degrees in southern Ontario and across Quebec. Long-held records are also being broken across much of the interior of British Columbia. In California, where wildfires are raging out of control, Los Angeles set an all-time record on July 6th, when temperatures soared to 111 degrees, while Death Valley sweltered in 127 degree heat, the hottest July temperature ever recorded on planet Earth. This headline describes the summer of 2018 and the concerns that lie ahead for humanity. In the summer of 1976, a deadly heat wave swept across Northern Europe and North America, but the heat was confined to these regions alone. This year's heat wave has no boundaries. It describes how alarming the current conditions are and have become. A heat wave sizzling across the globe where even the Arctic Circle is on fire. Records shattered, wildfires raging, people jumping into the sea to escape the flames in Greece, airports closing, roads buckling, power blackouts, and flickering lights. This is what we have to look forward to. As predicted, the weather and the climate have entered uncharted territories. All the world is entering into a twilight zone. It's another sign that the dangers of a changing climate can no longer be ignored. 
the fact that Europe is being engulfed by an unprecedented heat wave and that wildfires are raging across the continent is another in a series of wake-up calls. The extreme heat has made it very difficult to battle the fires that are spreading across northern Europe, and the outlook for August provides no relief in the battle to put out the flames. The wildfire situation is so intense across the region that authorities have declared an emergency proclamation requesting international help in their quest to battle the fires. Earth is virtually on fire as we enter a phase of increased volcanic activity. The map shows the volcanoes that are currently erupting across the globe as of August 1st. Last week, the weekly volcano activity report indicated that there were 22 actively erupting volcanoes and 43 continuously erupting volcanoes. This number far exceeds the average of 20 eruptions during any given time period, which statistically is a worrisome sign. If we take into account the number and intensity of volcanic eruptions around the globe, coupled with the intense heat waves that are spreading across the world, and the unprecedented wildfires raging across Europe, North America, and Siberia, including the Arctic Circle, it explains everything that we need to know about the dangerous and uncertain times in which we live and how important it is to stay abreast of what is happening on Earth. The events of today provide a sneak peek into our future. They help to establish a blueprint for our survival. By looking to the heavens, we are able to look beyond the pale into the deep darkness of the universe where all things were created through time and space. This is a Skywatch Media News presentation. Thanks for watching. Et voilà, la vidéo vous a plu, j'espère. Alors, on mentionne, comme c'était prédit, la température et le climat ont avancé dans des territoires inconnus. C'est à fait ça à prévoir, parce que voici l'état du bouclier magnétique terrestre normalement, quand il est compressé. Et voici ce qu'on a en 2018. Alors, le champ magnétique de la Terre est complètement défait. Même chose en ce qui concerne le bouclier magnétique du Soleil et des autres planètes. En sachant cela, j'ai déjà écrit plusieurs articles sur le chaos climatique. Alors, dès 2013, je décrivais ce qui se passe. J'ai écrit un article aussi qui s'appelle « Le chaos climatique et les sept années de vaches maigres » parce qu'il faut s'attendre à des mauvaises récoltes un peu partout dans le monde. Voici un exemple, ça se passe dans la province de Québec, ici. Donc, sans foin, les vaches ne passeront pas l'hiver. Donc, les agriculteurs vont avoir un choix très difficile à faire. 
soit de tuer prématurément tout, euh, tous leurs animaux, ou soit de faire venir du foin qui vient des autres provinces canadiennes ou des États-Unis, ce qui est hors de prix. Il pourrait en résulter finalement une hausse assez importante euh, des produits alimentaires. Bon, je vous invite maintenant à regarder une vidéo qui est assez récente. Alors, alors c'est un épisode, ça s'est passé au Kazakhstan. Vous vous souvenez, il y a quelques jours, la noirceur est tombée complètement en Russie et personne ne savait pourquoi. Alors, on a le même genre d'épisode, ça se passe au Kazakhstan, comme je le disais. Euh, cette fois-ci, on sait parfaitement ce qui a causé la, la noirceur totale. C'est évident, euh, on voit du vent, on voit que les nuages arrivent, alors euh, je ne sais pas quelle était l'épaisseur de la couverture de nuages lors de cet épisode-là, mais c'était probablement du jamais vu. En tout cas, moi, c'est la première fois que je vois une chose pareille. Bon, on voit là, on, la noirceur qui s'installe progressivement. Bon, ça y est, c'est la noirceur totale. Mais dans ce cas-ci, on sait parfaitement ce qui a causé la noirceur totale. Évidemment, c'est les conditions climatiques. Ça n'a rien à voir avec, avec ce qui s'est passé il y a quelques jours en Russie. Alors que tout le monde se demande qu'est-ce qui a causé la noirceur totale il y a quelques jours avant cet épisode-là au Kazakhstan. Bon, pour terminer, on va continuer avec quelques images récentes que j'ai prises sur Facebook. Alors, la terre qui se fissure un peu partout. Une autre fissure, ça c'est en Tunisie. Ensuite, euh, Toronto dans l'eau. La police a sauvé deux hommes qui étaient pris dans un ascenseur inondé à Toronto. Des rivières qui s'assèchent en Tunisie. Alors encore des, euh, des fissures au Mexique cette fois-ci. Je voudrais vous montrer cette vidéo-là aussi. Alors c'est une vidéo qui est très surprenante, mise en ligne par euh, Steve Olson. Je vais essayer de retrouver le lien et de le mettre dans les commentaires qui, euh, qui accompagnent la vidéo. Alors, c'est pas un reflet de lentille qu'on voit là, c'est vraiment un objet réel. Aucun doute là-dessus. On voit l'objet très clairement faire sa rotation. C'est une vidéo qui n'est pas un fake, ce n'est pas des, euh, des trucages de Photoshop. C'est des images qui viennent d'une webcam. Alors on voit des choses dans le ciel qu'on n'avait aucune chance de voir auparavant. On voit des intempéries de toutes sortes, des inondations, des sécheresses extrêmes. Comme je le disais dans des, dans des articles précédents, bon, 2007 est nettement pire que 2016 en ce qui concerne les catastrophes naturelles. 2016 était pire que 2015, etc. 2019 va être pire que 2018. On peut le supposer d'après ce qu'on voit parce qu'il y a toujours une augmentation constante des catastrophes naturelles année après année. Et cette information-là nous laisse supposer qu'il y a quelque chose qui s'en vient dans notre système solaire. Ouais, fantastique quand même cette vidéo-là. Et évidemment, c'est pas un reflet de lentille comme je le disais. C'est pas un truc de caméra, ça vient d'une webcam. Alors ici Ben Garneau, j'espère que la vidéo vous a plu. Je vous remercie de m'avoir écouté et je vous dis à la prochaine.